All right, in this video, I will show you the new AI structure filter in Luminar. I got a copy of Luminar 3 with the AI structure filter already included. So don't look for this filter in your Luminar 3 version because it isn't there. But if you upgrade later this year to Luminar 4, you will have access to this new filter also. I will show you the new AI structure filter in two of those photos and the first photo I want to show you is this one because I think this is a great example of how not to use structure and how to use structure. So what we can do here is on the right side I opened both filters so I can see the difference. Let's start with the normal structure filter, the one that was already there in uh, Luminar 3. If I apply it, you can already see a big difference. So I put the amount in 40. If I toggle it off, it is without the effect and now it is. So what you basically can see if you zoom in to this photo, this filter adds structure everywhere so everywhere where there is something it will add structure so let's turn it off and turn it on so it's a big difference and in this part it doesn't look maybe so bad but if I go here to the border of the building and to the sky and I turn the structure off again keep your eyes on in the sky because you see it's kind of noisy now I turn it off and you see a big difference. So what you can see, the normal structure filter adds a lot of noise. Even in the plain parts, there is nothing to give structure, but it tries to do it. And in the end, you will see a lot of noise. So that's one of the big disadvantages of the structure filter. So let's have a look at a new AI structure filter because the promise of Skylum is that this issue won't be there anymore. The AI structure filter is smart enough to detect, no, in this case, the lines of the building where it is useful to add structure and also to detect the plain parts where there's nothing, so it should leave this part out. So I turn on the AI structure, I also put it in 40 and I turn it off and on so you can see the difference. So there is a difference as you can see, now it is on, now it is off. So there's a clear difference, but as you can see in the sky, no noise is added. So no structure is applied to the sky. And that's exactly what this filter does. It only applies structure in the spots, in the places where it should add structure. So I think this is a very powerful filter that can improve a lot of photos without creating too much noise because in the parts where the structure is applied now with the AI structure maybe some noise will be visible if you add too much structure but at least in the plain parts it is not so visible anymore. Alright, let's have a look at another photo. I also want to show you this photo because uh, the good thing about this photo is you see a lot of different type of walls and this is a wall with a lot of structure here you can see some structure but there are also more plain parts so I think this is a great photo to show you the difference again so I zoom a little bit in so we can see the different structures in the wall let's add a little bit of this part also I add the normal structure well, that is quite a lot, <laughs> too much for this photo of course, but you can see that even in the more clear parts, in the more plain parts, there is some structure added. Also here, let's see the difference if I turn it off and on. You can clearly see a difference, but it, there is not only structure added in this part, also here in the plain part, and as you can see, the result is you get more noise off and on. 
So let's try it with the AI structure. I also put it in 41. By the way, I figure out that 41 in AI structure is not the same as 41 in structure. So if you're used to apply a certain amount of structure, uh, it doesn't mean that uh, the same amount in AI structure will give the same results. So I turn on the AI structure now. Check it off and on. And what you can clearly see, structure is added in this part because there is something, there is something to add structure, but in this part it stays basically the same. So nothing is added in this part and also no noise. So in the end, the AI structure I think is a very great new filter for Luminar. Definitely worth it to use it instead of the uh, old structure filter because it adds structure in a very smart way and the way I used to use the old structure filter was like I added the the amount but in the end I was using a mask and uh, a brush to paint in basically where I wanted to add structure and I really believe with the new filter that is not needed anymore. So great addition to the Luminar post-processing software and I'm really looking forward to use this filter to more in my more often in my photos. Alright that's what I wanted to show you in this Luminar tutorial. If you like this video please give a thumb to this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because soon we are going to release more Lumina tutorials because we want to teach you more about how great this tool is. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.